everybody and welcome. I am so glad that you're here. Yay! This is gonna be the last video for the fall series, which is so exciting. We have been sharing with you guys so many tips and tricks. We did show you how was the foyer, how we did also the front entrance, how we did the do-it-yourself um, scarecrow, the, the centerpiece for the dining room, all the tips and tricks that we share over there. Also, we did the walkthrough from the house, all the different sections of the house, how we've been decorating it during the night, also with all the light show and everything. So if you wanna check all the things that we have been doing since last year to this year, we have a playlist, I'm gonna put it in here in the description down below as well, so you can enjoy it and get all your creativity and inspiration as we're gonna do in this video, our last video for the series of the fall and if you are new to the channel then go ahead and consider subscribing to our channel if you like the content that you're gonna be watching because in here we share all kinds of lifestyle videos from do-it-yourself home decor gardening health related topic recipes remedies all kinds of things right so yay one stop for everything <laughs> so welcome to Jai's community and today we're gonna be doing then our garden walk for fall and it is so cool this is such a good weather it is a wonderful wonderful season so come on enjoy it with me and let me show you how the garden is looking okay for you guys that have been with me for a long time i love you guys so much i love you all you guys are amazing and you're gonna see how our garden is progressing it is crazy to think that a year and a half ago there was no plants in here and now we have hundreds of plants in here and the garden is looking so beautiful. So without further ado, let's go ahead and enjoy the garden. So here we go, going outside. Only thing that we added new, cause if you guys saw the video of how we did this on the front entrance, you can see that we put a little mummy face in the center, but you, it's easy to remove it and then you get back again all the fall decor so in here in the front um we also have our tuja arborbitae right here and our tuja has grown tremendously if you remember from last year it was very tiny baby and as i always say it's better to buy things that are a baby because they're cheap and they're gonna grow eventually you just have to be patient and so you save a lot we have some reblooming you can see over here we have some of the reblooming irises, berry irises. Um, they usually just are bloom only once in the spring, but this we have been blessed enough that we have few that are reblooming, so meaning that they bloom twice during the year, usually in spring and then in fall. So some of them have been blooming now in the fall and they are just beautiful. Look at this. So we also have our Montag Daisy and some of, many of the plants that we have over here, they come from the apartment. Um, when, you know, we moved in here a year and a half ago and well, almost two years now. And there's a whole bunch of flies everywhere. Um, but it is a great pollinator too during this because okay. it's called the Montag Daisy. And so daisies, usually you see them during the summer and during spring. So it's really nice to see this kind of color and you know different variety of daisy during the fall because you're not expecting this so this is a beautiful plant i love it very very resistant and again everything that we have in here most of what we have in here is perennial so you will notice that so let me just flip it for you guys to enjoy the walk and it is crazy because there was nothing in here before and it was looking very very nice so that is the very items that we said. We added in here just a pencil tree over here, the Tuja Arborbitae, and then over here we have the Lemon Balm, and that looks really nice there in the summer with all these beautiful purple flowers, the Montai Daisy, and some of the chrysanthemums that are blooming now, and the circle that we did, that beautiful um, layout in the outside. I'm gonna show you that now. We have some of the boxwoods, and sage plants, um, salvia. And we had in here, we had removed all the different Japanese barberry. You can check that video of why Japanese barberry are detrimental and bad for having them in the garden because they do attract the tick that um, 
past the Lyme disease, carries the Lyme disease, we're able to ferry. So you can check that video. So anyways, we had six bushes of the Japanese barberry. We removed those and that's how we ended up with this nice sitting area, which we haven't finished. There's more things that we need to do in the future. There were a uh, lots of different of uh, holly trees also joined together and we only left three over here and we removed and relocated then six of them and i'll show you throughout the yard where they are i do love, love the holly trees i do love the holly trees because it is important to have some evergreens especially in this weather we live in the zone seven in maryland because you do, um whenever everything dies you only are are gonna be seeing those evergreens so the evergreen give you a great architecture to your garden you can see some of the moms that are blooming now but you can see this beautiful beautiful mom over here and again many of the plants that we have here are from the uh, tiny apartment that we used to live this were from the apartment and we had only a tiny little pot with the chrysanthemums and then when we moved here we started dividing them and dividing them and that's how we ended up with multiple of them so you can see another one over there there's another one over here and there's another one over here and another one over there and so forth and some of them are blooming now some of them are still opening that's another lemon balm that's another one of the beer itis and so the beer itis is we got them from a friend of ours um that her mom is so amazing and her mom gave us then some of the beer addresses from her yard and it is all of this over here is a line of the beer addresses so during the spring it just looks wonderful we also cultivated over here a tuja arborbitae so this tree is the same as that tree over there and so it will grow just like that we wanted to just have in each corner that symmetry of evergreen and so it's gonna anchor the house, right? And so that's gonna be pruned later on, but I'm gonna be using many of the things that I have over here, many of the branches for the grading in, in in Christmas. So that's why I have not done anything right now. <laughs> and those are the azaleas, which they look beautiful during the summer. And you can see that we haven't finished with the rocks, everything we do it ourselves. So it's gonna take a while and in here this is a beautiful hybrid this hybrid of a the chrysanthemums it was done by the bees the natural pollinators they have been mixing different pollens i remember that when we moved here i had chrysanthemums that were purple chrysanthemums that were um pink sorry pink um red and chrysanthemums that were yellow and um, one way or another they just mix all the pollen from one from the other and they did a cross pollination and this is where we ended up last year it was pretty big but not as big as this one and the color it was a plant this plant gave us multiple different colors so I named it a rainbow and I expected that it was gonna be doing the same thing this year but it's saying that it kept on crossing and now we have this beautiful pink um, and it's fading away because when it bloom, it has been blooming now for a month almost. When it bloom and it open, it was a really, really um, a beautiful, rich pink, very deep pink. But now it's fading away and it looks more like a soft pink and some dashes of purple. And now it's going more into yellow and also some look almost orange so it's really really fantastic and beautiful it's incredible and this is the the good stuff of actually having your your garden with no fertilization and no crazy horrible you know pesticides and all that crazy things because then you attract good pollinators and they give you all these beautiful blessings it's just amazing the cool thing for this year is that we got some of this Italian cypress which I love 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 Italian cypress like obsessed with Italian cypress so I'm very excited that we have now this Italian cypress over here but this view over here this view didn't exist before this was there was there was nothing in there there was no path so now we can see that beautiful path and then our Italian cypress will grow pretty big and tall so I love that 
this is the black choke berry and we got those black choke berry just i just literally just took the whole bunch of the the, the black choke berry just the berries itself throw it in there and that's it <laughs> and they grew so i'm very excited that it's growing this is the first year that it's actually coming out so much growth so it's gonna be so beautiful they look fantastic they give you these beautiful flowers during spring and they change in this red color during the autumn so it is a beautiful bush to have and you can eat the, the black chill berry so i'm looking forward to eating many berries in the future this is i believe the Wegela tree color so it gives you flowers in the spring really pretty it's a deciduous bush and so it's gonna look really nice that's another the one that we have here in the center this is another um crepe mural but this is i think the black coral magic crepe mural so it gives you this nice um, purple almost pink flowers in the middle over here that one over here in the center that is the natchez the natchez um crepe mural and it gives you the flowers in white you can show the videos where it, when it's blooming during the spring and again, these are all mirror images. So everything that you see over there, again, it's gonna be another black choke berry, another wigela, and another of the Italian cypress. Everything. So all this corner over here is three Italian cypress, four of the wigelas, and then three of the black choke berries. And then here in the um, in the corner you can see that we have a holly tree and those are holly that we got from the um, the corner and we transplanted so they went through a period of stress and now they're coming back again and blooming so this is gonna take a while but again they're beautiful evergreen and once they take a nice big shape then we're gonna be cutting them and giving them more of the prune and shape that we want but you can see that we have four of them in each corner so that's going to be a nice big statement in the front of the yard this over here are the burning bush and so we have burning bush everywhere the goal is to have like a hedge over here of the burning bush like four feet high more or less in this corner in the front if you check the previous video we actually had an asymmetric lots of different bushes we had to remove all of them because there was some lines, electric lines underneath. And so now we only have the grass, but in the future I would like to actually move this and um, have maybe a carpet of like thyme or something like that, that it can, it can work and you don't have to actually, like, you know, do that, be cutting the grass in the future. Then this is a tuja bobitai, just like that tuja that we have over here. So this is gonna grow pretty tall, maybe it's five feet to seven feet or more or less. And it's gonna give you then that different height. So we're gonna go then from high to low four feet to then a big high, almost 10 feet and so. You can see again the, um, the holly tree over here. This is the hibiscus plant and you can check the flowers in some of the previous videos. It's just so beautiful. This is the red wood, red twig, dogwood, some of the hollies in the ground, they don't, they don't grow that big. And then again, the majestic and beautiful Italian cypress. Which again, I love the Italian cypress so much. And once it grows majestically to those 15 to 20 feet high, it's going to be amazing. But it don't grow that that wide. So there's fantastic, maybe 3 to 5 feet wide. And in the center, you can check the video of how we did this circle. So let me show you the circle. So the goal is that all the boxwood over here will grow probably to like three to four feet high and they're gonna be getting all close up together. We're gonna then keep on dividing by propagating in the future. And in here, you can see some of the succulents, the fire set them over there growing. 
we have plenty of different flowers over here growing as well this is the different balloon flower that I mentioned before this is gonna be a ground cover hopefully we'll take the whole thing and these are our sage plants where they give you this beautiful purple flowers in spring and all the way to summer and this is our edible society garlic you can check the society garlic video you can see the beautiful flowers that it has so amazing and this is all edible i mean we come in here all the time and we eat we take some on the plant and we eat it there are some of the mint growing over there and i do plan to grow more mint in here but this um in the front is not so much about food the out the back is more about food but i'll definitely get rid more food in here and again everything here is a mirror image for the front so just like you were seeing this is this look more healthy more of a healthy um holly tree but again this are holly trees just like we had those two holly trees that i show you guys and we have another holly tree right here and in the property there's lots of oak trees and maple trees and again that's a two jar barbitari which will grow then like those that we have in the back giving a little bit of height and anchoring the front and a little of the holly trees in there and in the back you can see more or less of the same level as the other plate mural that i show you another tree over there which will be then two corners in that pink color the front where we have the well so it's growing really nice i mean if you guys go ahead and see the video from the how we started there was nothing nothing in here so it is definitely a big change and here in the corners you can see here is the hibiscus which they bloom really beautiful it's the blue hibiscus so they're blue and purple and they are really nice so we have one in the corner one in the corner which i think i'm gonna be moving it more to that side um that's maybe before winter comes moving to that side because in here i have the butterfly bush and this grows pretty big but i want to train it to be an actual tree so i'm going to let it grow to almost 15 feet high and this pampas grass once they bloom they are really tall too probably like 10 feet high so they're going to grow fantastic and beautiful and so then i'm going to then add more little bushes in the front to then give all that different height and fill it up with more flowers probably it's going to just be flowers by division and in here you can see again our daisies one type daisy and these are the chrysanthemum different variety than the one that we had before and these are the berry irises over here so they do look really really nice during um the spring which they're not bl blooming right now and some of the butterfly bush it has a few but um flowers still blooming so this is a nice tree to have because it blooms all the way from summer all the way early summer all the way to fall and it's still looking fantastic i mean i love it love it love it love it but it is very invasive so you gotta be very careful not to let it propagate and keep on going wild right so we only have one in the property that's more than enough and then the pampas grass look how beautiful they are looking they're just fantastic and this is another type of hibiscus plant that a neighbor gave us which i am so obsessed with it because it has this beautiful color and shape oh look at that how cute it is that is amazing that is amazing all the amazing beautiful details that he lets us wash and enjoy and look at that beautiful pampas i mean i like the pampas grass because you can see this cute flow like the wind beautiful flow it's just amazing 
And then I believe these are more Wayela. We have two Wayela, one over here, another one over there, and then the rose bushes in the back. So this is more for me to enjoy. Um, and you know that I use the rose petals. There's a video about how making the, your own flower arrangement and also the benefits of the rose. And I might do more in the future because we do use the rose petals. But then some of the roses are blooming right now and they're looking so fantastic. But because we just transplanted it because this rose were over there this year and we moved them from there to here. And so it has a little bit of stress from moving them and affecting the root system. So I think by next year it will be, it will be way better. It will be more fantastic. And you can see again the front how it's looking the hedge and then in the back before I move forward I want to show you over here here we have the rose mallow which is like a hardy hibiscus and so it will grow pretty tall and it gives you this beautiful little pink flowers so we're gonna then train it to make it a trellis all the way you know and with this other one over here and so this will make an arch and we can actually go through here underneath this beautiful natural arch so that's the goal for the future and then we have another burning bush over here and so that's gonna be closing up over there and then there's more rose mallows over there which again we're gonna make another arch and then we have our huge um, holly over here this is how the golden globe arbor vitae, if I'm not mistaken. I believe I might change the position of this golden globe. Maybe, I don't know. Because I have a few in the other corner and they just look so fantastic. I love it a lot, a lot. If you're looking for something that's going to be a little bushy, that's going to be, um, you know, the interest all year long. And that you don't have to worry about cutting it or anything. Keeps the shape. This is it. This is it, it's just fantastic. It just looks fantastic all year long. So I like it a lot. I might be getting a few more in the future, um, but I have a corner that I have a lot of them and they look fantastic. So that's what I'm thinking to put in it. And then this one over here is another holly. And it, you guys might think that it's dead, but it is not dead. Look at this, look at this. How cool, it's growing. You see right from the trunk is grown. He's gonna be patient. So I'm leaving it there. And whenever you don't know if a tree is okay or not, just scrape a little bit of it. And if it comes out, you know, that green color in the trunk, then that means that's alive. If it's gonna be then dry or almost white, then that tells you that it's not alive. I have I did scrape it and I noticed that it was still green the pulp so that tells me that it's alive so i left it and let it be and i know that a few years from now i'm gonna have back again that beautiful big holly tree so i don't need to worry about that this is a dwarf spruce tree that takes forever to grow so if you're not patient for things to do, a tree to grow don't get a dwarf tree because this takes a long long time for it to grow <laughs> and then uh, so this is the view so far beautiful view something that was not there at all a few years ago and here we have then the blueberry bush and the blueberry bush i love how it takes this color sorry to doing it now um it takes this nice orange color in some of the leaves you see it's so cute and beautiful and then we have another blueberry over here. This is a dwarf one, it's tiny. And then we have the crepe myrtle over here. But we do get lots of uh, fruits from those blueberries. It's just fantastic. Over here, um, this section, we it might change in the future a little bit more because, you know, we will be putting a permanent arch um, with God's grace, right? Everything, if God helps us. So we have then a dwarf spruce tree over here and this is the italian cypress which you know that i love this majestic beauty and then this is a blackberry bush over here so the goal is to train it all the way over here horizontal and they will grow fantastic giving a little bit of privacy over there and and 
one side over here we have been using this bed growing lettuces and strawberries and cabbage mint and all kinds of wonderful stuff so this are already gone we already harvested the ones that we wanted and here we have the um kiwi vine which it came out today. it came out this year so i'm very excited so hopefully in a few years from now we will be having lots of kiwis and the um, strawberries are just going wild everywhere so we love that and lots of the mint you can see and lots of our strawberry vine which we harvest lots of strawberries this summer it was just such a wonderful blessing it's beautiful and in this corner um, this is all the spruce tree and you can check the playlist on the spruce trees all the benefits of the spruce tips all the benefits of the spruce tree itself the cones the female cones all the things that you can do with the cones all kinds of tips and tricks also decoration for christmas everything is in that playlist you can check the playlist i'm gonna put it over here and also in the description down the spaghetti squash we have we harvested so many spaghettis and so this was completely all over here and so i had to remove everything clean it up because it got lots of the mold and um, powdery mold so you can see that there's still some but then i let it grow um the the last patch and there's one coming over here so i think i need to just clean this section up over here and see if this keeps on growing and get we get more of it we also i usually leave pots so that's a tip also a trick if you leave some pots in the air outside it might start growing stuff by itself some from flying seeds from the birds and so we got this is an elm chinese tree and they grow really nice and massive so i would like to transplant that and i think and i'm not sure uh, that this is a walnut tree i need to double check that because it looks like it but i'm not sure so anyways that tree cannot be here attached to the house so we need to transplant it again so one day that is a rainy day we'll be transplanting that and that was just a wonderful gift from God. So let's go into our the orchard. So I call it the orchard because um, we have plenty of fruit trees over there. So we're growing peaches and apricot and plums and pears and apples and all kinds of things. So let me show you how it's going. And you can check the video of the garden design where I share with you guys what is the design which is changing a little bit so i'm gonna have to do another video of the design but i i want to wait because we're gonna be working on it and so you guys can see and tag along but let me show you what we have planted so far and if you're thinking of planting a tree start doing it now <laughs> because i mean they take at least 10 years to get established right so we have in here, um, this is an apple tree. We have different varieties. So I'm gonna put them, the different um, varieties that we have in the description down below. And that's a plum tree. That's a, a wine vine that we have over there. Then we have also elderberry. We have plums, um, plums, pears. Um, this is a yellow rose which is fantastic and we have another yellow rose over here and so the goal is to have this nice beautiful like a castle like like a house like um shape in here in the center for putting a table and then this beautiful majestic roses going all around the vine you know around the the, the trellis it's just gonna be looking cool so amazing and so that's um peaches peaches apricot and then the apricot pear pear and then plum and a plum and then elderberry and apple <laughs> so that was a quick a quick one because there is so many of them and and here in the corner we did add something new 
which is so cool. I wanted to have some trees, but in diversity, not like I, I like, I like what our neighbors did over here. This is a cypress that they use for division, which it looks so nice, and they give you this beautiful privacy. And that was enough privacy for me because we had that privacy over here, and we had this privacy over here from the spruce tree, and they just look so fantastic. But then I wanted some privacy into this side as well. But I love my neighbors on my side, and I also wanted some variety because I didn't want to have all corners just so enclosed. So we did the blue point juniper, and they grow high, but not like crazy high. And then in between, you see that we also have these chase trees, but they are so crazy beautiful, and they smell. They smell amazing. Like I wish that you could be here to smell this. They smell so good. And they give you this beautiful majestic flowers in purple in spring all the way to summer and for the most part you don't need to prune it at all you don't need to worry about it. they give you this round shape really nice so it's gonna be fantastic and so we have a nice good distance with, between each one of them like almost 20 feet and in between then we also have a stereo that are these tiny bushes maybe they grow to three feet to four feet more or less and they stay the same shape more or less a round shape so you don't need to worry about pruning them at all either So over here we added our heavenly bamboo so the heavenly bamboo they grow pretty big pretty bushy so that's fantastic because we had this big electric box over here and I can see it from the sun room over here that this heavenly bamboo I don't even remember from who I, I, I know it was a, I think it was a person that was giving away plants for free so guys there's so many things that you can get completely free so anyway she was giving some of this away and so we got them and i just love them so much look at this it's just, look at the color it's a beautiful interest all year long so for the most part it stays green almost all year and then it gives you these beautiful berries and then the tree changes in this red color during the fall it's just fantastic that's it beautiful 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 bush and it's going to grow pretty big and bushy with the praise of God, of course. And so if it grows, it's going to be more or less like this. And the other one as well, that's the same. So that way, then it covers all of this and I don't have to look at that anymore. <laughs> so this is the view so far of how everything's evolving. So take it all in because next time you see it, it will be completely different. And then we have more projects for the house, so that will change. Um, again, with God's blessing, of course. And then we have over here another one of those crepe murals, which are pink, and they grow really beautiful. You don't need to worry. Many of the trees that we have in here, they don't have to do no pruning at all. I don't know, or is it me that I just don't do that much, that much pruning? Because I know for a fact that you don't need to do any pruning in the crepe murals. So, anyways, over here we have plenty of the um, tomatoes and eggplant and we got lots of harvest this year and they are already ready to be cleaned out um, because it's been cold right but we do have I see over here some still over here I have been getting some tomatoes every single day so it seems that we're gonna be harvesting some today as well so let me just put it over here for now Wow, look at that. We're getting some today. There's a few over here. Oh, okay. Here we go. There, oh, there we go. There's more. And I just dropped some. There's more over here. So it's a bit difficult with one hand. <laughs> more over there. There's big ones that are growing right now. Oh, there's another little tiny eggplant. This didn't grow all the way but you see that it's already the ants are taking it and i don't think it's going to grow anymore because if you see it already purple like that you need to take it because if not then it goes back again to being like all pale and it doesn't taste good so 
take that and you can put it in something oh i see something over here it's a big one that was a thing i think let's see because now all the pests and all the ants and everybody is all going out because they're getting they're trying to survive this cold weather right so they're all going crazy now you see i forgot one egg one over there and i can see that it's already getting pale you see what i mean by getting all pale the color changes from the purple into this pale color they don't taste the same so good to cook it by your own food so this was not even here this was also something that we did this year and so we did grow some lettuces over there we grew some eggplants we grew peppers we grew lots of different tomatoes so wonderful blessing and this over here is where we have been putting all the i don't want to say compost but it's just all the things that grass especially that you have been taking out instead of just throwing it away just put in a pile and that becomes soil literally in the bottom you can see it's become soil so um you don't have to then buy soil for your pots and stuff it's really rich wonderful soil and then um, i put some seeds um, of the yellow squash and we got lots of yellow squash this year pray through god for that and so there's a i think we might get a new ones maybe i'm not sure but we did got a few already this year and i have a few inside the house still this is the golden globe that i was mentioning that i like them a lot and then i might think to change the other one that we have into here this location i'm not sure because they look so cute i just love how i just love how it looks it's so so pretty so it acts as a wind barrier for all the different kales that we have over here so we have the dinosaur tuscan kale we have the curly kale we have the red russian kale and they're just fantastic they're self reseeding every single time we got this from the apartment again and we just kept dividing and um, propagating and again it's also self reseeding so you don't even need to worry about it just wherever the seed falls just let it be and there you go so anyways we have that beautiful kale over here and then this gives us also that structure that evergreen structure all year long and as i said i really really love those golden globes you don't need to do anything with them they're just fantastic and so i was thinking of maybe extending this a little bit more to the side and maybe putting that other golden globe over here that's just an idea like no no don't know and in here we have that fig tree which the fig tree also comes from the apartment so there's a lot of stuff that you can grow in a tiny apartment in the balcony and and now it's just a little bit bigger and it gave us lots of um, brown turkey figs this year the first year that actually there was more than two figs um, and they were just delicious and so look how beautiful it is many people say to cut it to the ground to cover it all kinds of things we don't do nothing with it and praise to god it has been doing fantastic but yes have it in a corner that will be safe from the winds and from um, like a really harsh cold weather so this is in this corner over here and it definitely has been protecting it from everything all the strong winds so i think that that's why it's doing so well in here
so i gave you the tour with me talking and telling you all the things that you guys are seeing and again thank you for being so awesome and being part of the community i mean i love you guys so so much i am in shock of how amazing it is this community and also i mean i am in awe to see those numbers go up on the subscribers and we are all done thank you so much for watching you guys are amazing it makes me so excited to see how our community is growing and how you also enjoy all the content that we're sharing over here if you're new to the channel or you have been enjoying all of our content and you haven't yet subscribed go ahead and subscribe to our channel like this video and share with your friends and family love you guys so much i'll see you again next tuesday bye enjoy the day and enjoy the miracles